All right, let's do another one. You know, practice makes perfect in so many ways and stuff. And I know many years, so many years I've been doing this. It's uh, it requires a lot of practice. And um, so this is a block of wood. Let me get my. You say, well, you should know already what the measurements are. Well, sometimes I do. <laughs> All right, this is this is a one inch by one inch by four inches. We're gonna do a little figure out of it. Get my knife. Hope everybody is well. I hope everybody, my son just called me a while ago and told me in Kentucky that they are, uh, they got like four or five inches of rain in 48, 24, 48 hours and a lot of flooding where he's at in uh, Sayersville, Kentucky. So he's trying to find a rude home and all that stuff and uh, uh, he works in the federal prisons up there. So... Um, he said that they got a lot of rain. And uh, up there when the mountains are, of course, you have a lot of mudslides and you have a lot of lot of things going on. So they're dealing with that right now. It's uh, it's everywhere. And I hope everybody got over the ice storm pretty good. It's uh, uh, just sad to watch people go through this because I know what it's like. I'm trying to get my house back together again. And um, so it's a sad thing. And I really feel for all the people that are going through it right now. All right. Um, so if you are, then we'll try to have prayers for you. Okay. First thing I like to do is just go to the top of this thing and just go around it. Just shape the top of it a little bit. That'll be the hat or the top of the head. Probably going to be the top of the head. Just shape it a little bit. From top, just to give it a little shape up here. This is, these are fun to make when you have little scrap pieces of basswood laying around or something like that. They're excellent to make on both sides. And they just are real good in that sense. All right. Let's come to this side here. We can look at that as probably being our front. So we start off with this. Just getting that kind of situated right there. And then we come down and we go up about a half an inch. I'm just gonna draw it here, but I can tell you now about a half an inch or three eighths of an inch and draw and that's where our shoes are going to be so naturally we begin to cut v-cuts in there Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You're working from the side, this you can look at it here. And like I said, I like to make my cuts deeper and stuff. If you have if you're on Facebook and you haven't joined Let's Talk Carving site, I ask you to do. Uh, it's a good site. It's where we discuss uh, carving a lot. It is not a site to put your carvings on so you can be, you know, commented on. It's a site for discussion, and and I think we learn a lot. Uh, I, I get kind of... kind of uh, <laughs> yelled at for pe taking some people's... Uh, comments off because they, they, they put pictures and stuff without asking a question. But it's a question and answer site and, and we try to keep it that way so that uh, people won't have to go through so much. Okay. And it doesn't cost anything folks. It's free. It's just it's on Facebook. It's called Let's Talk Carving. Just something a little bit different that we can all talk about. Okay. All right. All right. There you go. There's the way. All right. Um, now we have to sign. Let's just go to back here and just take these these edges off. This just take these corners, as we say, off just a little bit. Heard that? That's our our, our daily or nightly um, people around here that drive crazy. Okay, all I did was come back here and just kind of settle that down a little bit. Now we've got basically where the shoes are right in here, in which I came up about a half of an inch and then made that those cuts in there. All right, the next thing we want to do is uh, how do we want to do it? Let, let's just, uh, how far do we want to come down? Now on the face, that's the whole thing. You can come down uh, whatever you really want. Uh, I mean, you can have the big face, big, big face. Uh, here's one and a half. Uh, let's look at about one and a quarter. I'm going to come down on the face. So I'm going to come down about that far. And then on the side, just go up a little bit. Just kind of come up just a little bit. And uh, there we go. Let me come across this way. And come around. There we go. And that can be our head, and this can be our body. Now, if we want to, we can even bring the face down further, like a little beard or something like that. But we, we're just going to come down that far. So what we want to do is take our knife, and we want to cut underneath there, just like this. And come to this side and give it a V-cut right in there. And come across. And give it a cut, just like that, see? Then we come up here And we just kind of come around it and cut, <clears throat> sorry, just to kind of get the, um, Okay. All 
All right, see that? So actually, we've got the we've got the um, <clears throat> body, and that's all you start out with. Basically, is you start out with a body, you start with a head, and we got the head, the body, and the shoes, the legs. Pretty much simple, folks. Pretty much simple. And we go from there. Cut. Now, we have to make our decision of what we want to do with this. How do we want to dress it? How do we want to make the arms? Uh, we can have the arms behind the back. We can have them in the pockets. We can have them on the side. There are different ways uh, that you can do it. But I'm going to cut, bring that head out. When, when, uh, I want to cut in the front here. Voila, see? Now, what do we want to do here? Where's my pencil? <clears throat> Let's just, um... We can put him behind his back if we want to. Okay, I'm going to take here and from the head down I'm going to draw a little line about right, about an inch and a half right in there. Okay. And then from this point, actually, where the the fur, the the uh, front of the the um, thing comes, the head, right, like right over here, It'll come up about like like that. We're just gonna go ahead and put his hands behind his back. And we come here and we cut down and then we remove just like that. Come over here and we cut cut down the same way. And we cut. And we come here. There we go. See? Now, since the hands are already behind the back, we want to cut into here. Then we can bring um, what whatever forward we want to bring, in other words, okay? Okay, now let's look from inside. Hands down, hands down behind the back. Now, we can do pretty much whatever we want to do as far as the front of the person. Okay. 
I'm going to cut some more, just dig in a little bit deeper to give me more uh, leverage as far. Let me put these keys out of the way. All right. Okay. See? Now, basically, we'll come back here and we'll draw the things down here just like that. And then the hands will be in here. We'll 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 do that later. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and work on the head. people responded to me about the comments I made on the last video about hot water heaters being in the ceiling and stuff and they it's cute you won't change my mind on a lot of those things but I'm old, I'm old school too and I appreciate that whether you agree or not I appreciate your comments Okay, I'm going to come in right here on this side. Now, what are we going to do as far as the head is concerned? Uh, let me think for a minute. It would be nice to put a little hat on him. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave him hatless. Doesn't matter. That's why I'm kind of cutting him down a little bit. And I kind of come up here. And on both sides, I start taking wood off. Wood off. Wood off. See that? From both sides. That way, I then establish along here a nose. I mean, I cut that. And I come. And I remove that right in there. And right in there. And from the side here, you can see a little nose there. Or our nose starting let's put it that way and from an angle here I make a cut and then I make a cut up and cut inside the nose just like here I make an angle cut and then I cut up here and we can come in with the nose now of course it's way too big but I do that. I make the nose real big. I don't, I don't, uh, then I cut it down later. Just like that. OK. 
Okay. Do do. Okay, so if we look at front of Roman, now before we stop the head, let's go ahead and work on the body a little bit. Let's go ahead and make our on these shoes make our cut in the middle of them to separate our shoes. Now the shoes are going to have to be thinned out. They're a little bit too big. But we're making our cut in the middle here to separate our shoes. And we come down here and we just make a pretty good little cut to bring those shoes down. Make several cuts, there we go. And a nice little cut in there to bring that shoe down. And a nice little cut in there to bring the shoe down. And the same way here. There we go. And we cut a little bit in the middle here. We just kind of shoes most of the time are not a as we get down lower we find out shoes are just basically an essential part of the body but they're not uh, there's not a lot you can do I mean you can I can put them in bare feet and all that other stuff but usually very few people go barefooted anymore now what I want to do is draw a, uh, a crouch line right there and then I can take my knife like this and I can bring it up here like this and then from both sides cut away See that? Both sides, you have to make several cuts to get that the way you want it. But there you go. Look at that. 